Sure enough. There's a cop across the street. Oh, and I know train horns are illegal. You ready? Let's do this. He didn't even flinch. Nothing. Come on, officer. <laughs> I didn't do it, it was just a train horn, man. Earl, get back here! No! What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the channel. I have my good buddy, Kyle, Rust Belt Mechanic, so make sure you check him out on YouTube. I will leave that link, channel link, in the description. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and interview people on why they bought a diesel truck. It's very interesting. They could've went with gas. Why did they go diesel? Most people don't even need a diesel truck. Loud trucks? More towing capacity? I don't know. I want to interview you first. Okay, let's do it. I, I can explain more of why I did it. It was a little bit more logical in the way I thought things through. Now, originally, I had a long bed Dodge, like a 2004 gasser. Well, I found myself towing things more often. Found myself, you know, wanting a truck that I'm going to get better resale value out of. And the gas trucks, they just plummet as soon as you buy them. So. At that point, I work at a dealership and the diesel truck came up and I just had to have it. I'd rather have the power available when I really want it. You know, it's gonna have it compared to the gas engine. So why not get something that's gonna be worth what you're putting into it later down the line? Obviously, if you guys follow me, you know that I need a diesel truck now because I, I haul them, you know, I pick them up across state. I need a diesel, okay? That's why we got the Denali as well, but I've been using this a daily all the time. We cross country with this thing, pulling trailers, doing all kinds of cool stuff. but. I need a diesel for this. My gasser just won't, or my gasser, my 5.3 Tahoe wouldn't be able to cut it is where I'm getting at. 6.0, yeah, 8.1 liter, yeah. Uh, even the 5.9 um, Rams. I, there's all kinds of really cool gas vehicles, the EcoBoost. 5.9 Rams, people still have those? 5.7, I'm sorry, I apologize. Talking, <laughs> they had 5.9s, but I'm saying did. like early, <laughs> early 2000s. <laughs> right, but when I first purchased a diesel truck, I didn't really need it. The gasser can definitely do what I'm trying to accomplish in my everyday life, like pulling a small trailer or even pulling a small car. If you didn't know, I drive a 2006 LBZ. I uh, had a single big turbo on it. Now I have compounds because I do a lot of towing and hauling with it, and that was much needed for EGTs and for drivability on it. So you like to party. I absolutely love to party with this compound turbo truck. <laughs> so let's go ahead and interview some more people. Adam here is an intern at Boost Auto Parts. We talked about the 2020 Denali HD. Absolutely beautiful truck. You did go with the Boost Auto Parts switchbacks right here, the sequentials, yep. which look amazing, by the way. But it's cool that you're able to dress that up. There's something with it. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Um, so with that being said, we're talking about the diesel. So this is your first diesel truck? No. Okay. No, I've had diesel not. truck since I'm 16. <laughs> so why the Denali? Why did you pick this thing? Couple reasons. Uh, number one, towing my boat. I'm a big boater, got to be able to tow the boat. Got, of course, got to do it down to the boat ramp in style. That's why I'm with the Denali. And then more importantly, I lower, I reverse leveled it. Uh, my dogs ride with me to work every day. So I had to get it slightly lower down here to the ground so that the dogs can jump up because my dogs are everything. So. Now you had an LB7. I still have the LB7. Okay. Yep. So, uh, so far, what's your favorite? I know that obviously this one would be you obviously everybody would say this is your favorite there's more creature comforts but what's your favorite truck so it started with a 6.5 an idi 6.5 when i was 16 then i got a 7.3 i got the lb7 and now i have this i have to say the 03 lb7 i just love that thing it's uh lb7 for the win yep love it all right well thanks again for coming out beautiful truck great pick and uh, hopefully we can get you on the channel again. Thanks, Josh. Thanks. Thank you so much, Seth, for coming out. Absolutely. I'm gonna ask you a question. You don't even know what I'm gonna ask you, so just bear with me, okay? All right. So first of all, what kind of truck do you have? Uh, it's an 07 LBZ Duramax. Nice, dude. Nice pick. And is this your first diesel truck? Uh, no, this is, I think, my fourth. Oh, so you're pretty familiar with owning diesel trucks. Yeah. Okay, so why do you buy a diesel over a gas? I just, I don't know. I. I like the, it's better fuel economy and uh, just better for towing. Like I do concrete, so, so I'm like hauling skid loaders around sometimes and boats and stuff like that. Fuel economy and then of course livelihood. Yeah. And it, the truck looks actually really cool, man. Thank you. I like it. It looks like you got a Southern box over there. Yeah, you just gotta Russ, get her painted up, huh? Yeah, rust free from Texas. Very nice, very nice. All right, well again, thanks for coming out and uh, hopefully we can talk again. Yeah, thank you.
Okay, so I have Joe here. I came up, where are you from? Wisconsin? Exonia, Wisconsin, about half hour from here. So not too bad, okay. Yeah, not too bad. Thank you so much for coming out. We have a 2005 LOI Duramax, is that correct? Yes, it is. All right, so I, I have a question. I'm gonna kind of put you on the spot yeah, here. Sure. Why did you buy the Duramax over, well, why did you buy a diesel over a gas truck? Well, my dad owns a landscape business, so we've been pulling with diesels for about 10, 15 years now. And had a gasser six liter and just wasn't really doing it. And bought an 08 LMM, fell in love with that truck, shot down the Rockford last year and bought this, and this is gonna be the fun summer truck. Got some candy teal WC Fab High Flow Bundle, Extra G Sportsman CP3. Eventually, here, gonna get a RDS 64 66 millimeter and just make a really fun all around street truck. Very cool. And then, uh, what else, what do you got going on? You got the long bed. What's what's up with this? Nothing too exciting. Just figured, you know, getting oh. summer feel. Oh, whoa, you put you, a nice little piece of turf in there. You actually did some work in here, huh? Yeah, I figured I'd do something unique, you know summer and it's kind of like a pontoon man exactly you can't be on the <laughs> boat all the time so very cool he has a 0459 liter cummins and this thing is an absolute beast it's a man i love these i love this third gen you know you got the nice amenities of the new truck and of course you have the almighty legendary cummins in there and of course it's not you know there's no emissions on it so it's really cool that being said why did you go with a diesel truck versus a gasoline truck oh uh, i like cars I like trucks diesels are different i like them they're fun working on they're just a whole different animal and I, they're a lot more fun to me to have yeah i get it i get it man and it's like sometimes it's like why buy the you know the gas when you could just go big and just yeah. have a sweet powerful pickup truck you know we're talking at bare minimum 400 horsepower yeah. you know what i mean so very cool man and i'm sure you really love this truck how long have you owned it oh uh, about a year and a half what have you done to it uh not much i just put uh just put these wheels on it it's got a uh, just a little tune on it and that's about it very nice um, what's your fuel economy uh probably around 16 17. not bad yeah a big truck like this would probably be nine or ten you know yeah. what i mean get in a yeah. gas world but, and it's funny because a lot of guys that have gas trucks can do just as much as a diesel, just not as efficient, but I yep. mean. I Which mean, is you, another plus side to them. Right. You, know, you got to tow or anything, haul stuff, and you'll get decent fuel economy with them. We have Jimmy here. He has a six, seven liter Cummins. Thing is absolutely beautiful, man. Great choice. And you have the Anthem wheels. Of course. Look at that, dude. You're, did you talk to Dave over there? At the I booth actually, yet? yeah, I was talking to him earlier. Uh, about the uh, wheels. I love these wheels the so e much. And them equalizers. Mm -hmm, they're my favorite. Oh yeah, I have a set on the Wife Max. Looks that's pretty what, sharp. That's what honestly made me want these rims so much. No kidding. I saw that on the Wife Max. They're really a sweet looking rim. Yeah, and it really sets the build off. It's very tasteful, it looks clean. It doesn't look all crazy and wide and stupid and girly looking. It yeah. actually looks like a real pickup truck. So mm -hmm. good job, man. Why did you buy a diesel truck versus a gasoline truck? Well, I work with my dad and he's in construction. And every now and then I have to tow like the, a bobcat and everything. And I had a gasser and it couldn't really do it that much. With a diesel, I don't have to worry about it. It'll tow what I want it to tow. Yeah, and you definitely got the right engine for it too. Mm -hmm. So very good job, man, and thanks for coming out. Yeah, thank you. So I have Dave here from Anthem Off-Road Wheels. Now I know you don't have your truck here. It's absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I'll flash a picture as we're talking. So Dave, you're sort of in a unique position. I've known you for a couple years now. And yeah. know that I do know that you did have a Duramax at one point. Okay, so you saw the picture that he of the current truck that he owns now. And then he went to a 6.0 gas truck. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna open that can of worms. Dave, why did you buy a gas and ditch your diesel truck? Man, so... Hey Josh, I gotta tell you, first off, the Cat Eye is by far the 6.6. .6. Your truck is my favorite truck. And if I could pick one and build it, that's exactly the truck that I would want to own. Right. So how much um, money you got, Dave? <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> so to own a diesel truck, as much fun and as much power as they all, man, it is, uh, you have to have the time, the energy, the money to own a diesel truck. It is not just a... Uh, it's not a play school game that you just jump in and you're in the sandbox and it's all fun and games. It's a lot of work. And, uh, and I just didn't have enough time, right? And uh, I found myself stranded a couple times and the, the Duramax didn't work like I wanted it to. So I had to go get it repaired and I'd bring build back better, but it just got to be too much for me. And, that, and that's all it was, love the truck. And one day, hopefully, man, I'd love to get back in a Cat Eye Duramax. You just hit the nail right on the head. 
It's expensive to own a diesel truck. Yeah. The maintenance in itself, you were just stranded. And the thing that I like about a gas truck, like again, my 5.3 liter Tahoe. I mean, it's a truck, I know it's an SUV, but it's kind of the same concept. I turn the key, it starts, I drive. I, I put 800 bucks into the front end because I hit a deer. Yep. I, I don't have to change my fuel filter. I just yeah. put gas in it and change the oil and go. But I respect what you're saying and I appreciate how you explain that because that's exactly why a lot of people go with gas because a finances B time and then C of course is maintenance. Yeah, you know, and I've been able to tow everything that I've been able to with my Duramax. My 6.0 has done just fine. It just hasn't accelerated as quickly. It doesn't have that same torque, but it's done every bit of performance that I've asked it to. So but how bad truck. do you miss the uh, the cool whistle and the you know the, <laughs> oh, the American man. bald eagles coming out of your exhaust pipe, you know man. stuff like that. <laughs> So the Anthem booth is right here, your truck is right here, and just a little bit ago you had it revving up and I could hear the whistle and I could hear the turbo spin and, I, and it, uh, man, it hurt my heart. It really did. <laughs> one day, Josh, one day I'll be back in one. All right, thanks, brother. Thanks, man. See you later, Dave. Later. Make sure you guys follow them, Anthem Off-Road Wheels, and they're on Instagram. I'll leave that link in the description. Why did you buy a diesel truck over a gasoline truck? I saw this 6.0 sitting up just said told the wife want to go look at that truck even though I knew it was out of our ballpark figure and uh, we ended up walking out of there that day with it and stuff so. would you regret your decision because it seems sounds like seems like you bought the truck brand new in 05 yep <laughs> that's cool Bought it brand new had it ever since so very I've cool been building it every day every year for since then so so would you ever go to back to gasoline uh, actually I would why would. is that just because the new 7.3 Godzilla motor that Ford makes now and the maintenance upkeep on the diesels and injectors and the fuel filters and oil changes and everything. I mean... It's kind of like turn the key, go, you can pull a trailer. Yeah, the gas, I mean, it's all fads. I've been going to truck shows and jamborees since back in the early 80s and everything back then was all gas and you saw the turn where everything went diesel and now gas is slowly coming back and nothing against diesel i'm never going to get rid of this truck but yeah i would go gas again but well it's good to, it's good to meet you jim and again thanks for bringing out the beautiful truck great job on it keep her clean man this is great i will it's hard to do <laughs> see you later thank you Why diesel, not gas? Diesel's more reliable, more fun, more powerful. Born and bred on diesel. Why Ford? Born and bred on Ford. I love it. Man. Thanks for coming out, dude. See you later. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Why diesel, not gas? Why not? <laughs> Might as well make something that ain't supposed to go fast, fast. Like it, man. See you later. Yeah, see you, man. and not diesel. I have a F 350 95. I didn't bring it. Oh, so shot. you already have a diesel. I have a diesel. Got you. But more practical with the gas because you don't have to worry about glow plugs and you know Correct. stuff like that. A little less, less to maintain. And I man. wanted to see the dyno run. Love it, man. Love the diesels on the dyno. Thanks for coming out. You bet. Thank see ya. need for introduction i gotta ask you a question mark yes considering you're a monster truck driver for the kodiak truck and you know you just have a huge history of this stuff obviously those were gas monster trucks yeah why now diesel versus gas why do you prefer diesel i mean you own like seven eight diesel trucks yeah you know uh, gas motors are cool but in my day you'd spend a whole weekend working on it just to make a couple more hundred horsepower and with a diesel you can do that 
immediately. So that is it for this video today. Kyle, thank you so much for your take on the gas versus diesel. And I know we interviewed probably about 20 or 30 other people. I'm sorry if I didn't get you on the video, but you guys let me know in the comments what you think, gas or diesel. I wanna know what your opinion is on this one. Diesel all the way, that's what I'd have to say. I didn't really mean for that to- Yeah, it kinda rhymed, thing, didn't it? But I just may. That's very interesting. Yeah, we got a few guys that own gassers as well. I need to get a unbiased opinion on this and I see both sides of the fence. But in my opinion, it's gotta be, man. Go big or go home. Gotta go with the diesel. I'd say that one and you're gonna get your money back in return. Generally, you're gonna get better fuel mileage unless you do dumb stuff like us and just build big diesels. But generally you will. So why not get your money back for your return on investment when you wanna get something different later? Still very complicated to explain, but you know what? I concur, sir. Hey guys, we'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Stay awesome. Oh, you guys, uh, this is your video. No, no, you do it. You guys stay awesome. Earl, you trying to blow it up? Yeah, I don't care. I, I trailered it here. It doesn't matter. So Earl, uh, he had to do some wiring, man. This is Earl wiring. <laughs> Got him! Got one! It worked! Is for some reason, I don't know what happened between the constant power and the power in the ground and whatever and whatever's going on over here, but uh, I did some weird wiring just to make it work, but it just figures that when, you know, you come to a sh an, an event like this, my own truck show where I got kicked out of the last one, or almost. Yeah. Or uh, where I kind of just You're was a rebel such, and stayed. Yeah. So. Kids these days. Chicago. <laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what kind of mods do you have in this LMM Duramax? It has 440. 440,000 miles? Yes. It's impressive. <laughs> nice, very nice. Sorry guys, 6 0 sound better. Whoa. But this time to party now, boys. He got the flatbed. Guys, I wanted to talk to you about the 2020 GMC Denali HD. This is an absolutely beautiful truck. And we talked about the tow mirrors. You guys let me know what your opinion is about these tow mirrors. It's a newer setup that GM decided to go with where they actually mount it on the door instead of, uh, well, they are mounted on the door, but lower on the door underneath the, the windshield here. So what have you done with the switchbacks to improve it? So we offer the switchback lights for the trucks now. Um, like you mentioned, the T1 is what we're calling it, but the 2020 design, low mount instead of up here they now have this plate here so the full mirror is revamped so we basically recreated the light we took the OEM design and added the strip design to it that they use but instead we use this diffuser to basically do a switchback appearance so this light is going to light a white running light and then as it uh, turn signals you're going to have a sequential come across the light like this so the sequential is an amber that comes across the light so we offer these on the uh, 15 plus style uh, mirrors, but we now also offer these for the 2020 trucks. Uh, right now, these are on pre-order. They're actually going to be released in the following weeks here. So, so people are already ordering them, and they just have to wait for them. People are already ordering them. People love them. They are They're true. only on a couple trucks right now. JW Montoya. <laughs> JW Montoya. This one. Yeah, that's the only two. Only two trucks with them right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty shortly in the next couple weeks, they will be on a lot of trucks. That's for sure. I know exactly what you're talking about because I have them on my. Uh, LBZ sequential very cool very cool this is the 2015 to 2019 style Tomir but we retrofit these all the way back to 1988 in the GM truck so you can run this style mirror from a 1988 OBS Chevy all the way up to 2019 2500 
um, and we offer basically any configuration you can pretty much think of. We custom build them all in our warehouse and ship them out to you. So we have the 22s? 24s. Oh, golly. Yeah. <laughs> 24 by what? 14. So how terrified are you when you drive through the drive through with these crazy stretched tires? Well, uh, to be honest, I don't really go through drive throughs anymore just I because uh, it's not worth the money paid. No way. But uh, I do go through like the McDonald's in town just because it's not as bad. Mm -hmm. I just have to watch out my mirrors because I have my mirrors angled for the wheels. So. Right. Do you rub with these? This offset? No. Wow, man. Nope. This is crazy. I love the headlights though. I, I really Thank like you. the the way it kind of highlights the yeah. cat eye. It looks really yeah. sharp. I love those headlights. I think they were CA Auto headlights. Okay. Well, awesome, but, man. I appreciate you coming yeah. out. Keep them things clean, try not to oh, scratch yeah. them. I'm sure it's really, really difficult. Yeah, it is very difficult. <laughs> you guys let me know in the comments what you think about his setup. Uh, it looks like he has a lot of time in this, a lot of money. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure your bank account's not doing very good. <laughs> no, it's not. All right, yeah. take care, man. Thank you. You too, thank you. I have to show you guys something really cool. Probably the most unique truck out here, in my opinion, anyways. There's a lot of unique trucks. Yeah. But where I'm coming from is this guy's got an 05 LOI Chevy Silverado Duramax with the Allison transmission, yep. and he had this thing painted wild green. I don't know yep. what what's the color. It's, of... uh, so it's a custom color shop. They mix it up for me, and I sprayed it. It's my okay. third truck I painted, but it, I don't remember what it's called. It's like just it's like, like a lime green. I wouldn't say Hulk green, but it's kind no. of in between that yeah. and lime. Yep. But but this is this gets better, man. And, yep. I, and this is the biggest thing that really caught my eye. Well, first of all, he's got the newer bumper on the back right here, where he was able to fab it up. Now he did have to drill an extra hole. It's pretty simple. You just use your top one is your new bottom one now and you just drill a new top one and just bolts right up pretty much now here's the coolest thing about this truck is he was able to install a quadra steer rear box and it looks kind of like a dually right yeah but yeah it's got the little flare to it this is extremely rare guys these beds will probably go for about i know you're gonna think i'm silly for saying this but i'd imagine a box like this would go for about two twenty five hundred dollars the crazy thing is i got it for 300 bucks no with, way. it had a whole bunch of cracks in the bedsides and i do body work so i could i fix all of it and fix everything so looks cool man yeah do you have an instagram yeah um at health.joe very cool yep. make sure you check him out guys yeah and, and thanks for coming out yeah. Joe. i appreciate it Thank man you. because this right here is one of those things that i always look for man just something one-off unique yep. and just cool yep so yep keep sure it nice cool. dude good job thank you Unfortunately, the dyno blew up. wasn't our thing. It wasn't even our dyno. It just, you know, it's just an act of God. I don't know. Something happened. Now, I wish I would have got it on video so I could have done a cool YouTube video on that. But I wasn't standing around and it caught on fire. But it is what it is. Um, but, hey, again, thank you so much for coming out. Right now, we're going to go ahead and start just uh, picking names, picking winners. So this is what you're all here for. Hopefully, somebody wins the turbo, the transfer case. Hit the wheels with my man, Dave, at. Hey, hey. All right, we're going to go out here and uh, do a cool giveaway as well as Boost Auto Parts. So let's go ahead and get it. Um, so what are you drawing right now? For the Ryan's Diesel Turbo. Turbo, 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 turbo. All right, let's do it. Five, seven, zero, four, six, three. Nobody. <laughs> Five, seven, zero, four, six, three. One, one, three, three, two, eight. Oh, a lot of groaning there. We gotta see this. Well, we gotta see it. We gotta verify it. One, 
113328. That is the number. We can have a winner. What kind of truck you got? Uh, LOI, 04, Duramax. 04, yeah. LOI. Yeah, you need a turbo. You yeah. need one, bro, that's for sure. <laughs>